hey guys it's me welcome back to our channel today i'm cooking one of my personal favorites stewed peas let's go So I kind of forgot um, that I was supposed to be recording. So I'm missing a few steps, but I'll talk you through it. So right now I just have my peas and my garlic boiling in just a little bit of water. Um, not too much, just to get the pot going, right? So in two other pots, I had my meats um, boiling because they're salted. So it's had, it was pigtail and salted beef. So I had them boiling. I boiled them twice and got rid of that water and then added them to the peas, which you're seeing here. So in this, in the pot, we have peas, pigtail, salted beef, garlic, water. That's it. So right now we're actually just getting everything cooked. So we need them to be tender. I added more garlic to the pot just to get that tenderness going and as you can see i didn't actually cut my pieces of meat yet i tend to wait until they are a little bit tender um to do them in portion size so right here we're using a meat <clears throat> sorry we're using a medium to high heat for this one um to get the pot bubbling right with the peas though, you need to keep stirring only because the peas will settle at the bottom of the pot. And if we have that, then it's going to start burning. So you need to make sure your peas is moving. You don't want them to get settled at the bottom. So I'm cooking, I'm adding garlic, um, and just having it under high heat, just boiling. So right now with that bit of water that I just removed from the pot, I'm tasting for saltiness. I don't want it to be too salted. Um, so I check if it is, then I will just remove some of the water, add some fresh water to the pot, but it was a little bit okay for what I wanted to happen. So right now, after probably about an hour or so, I check again and I realize that my peas are basically cooked. So in the screen before you saw that I showed the peas. You can see some of them are burst. Some of them are in halves. You can test tenderness as well with just taking one up and squeezing it between your fingers. I add more water because I want my meat to also continue cooking. So right now I'm not trying to make it um, thick just yet. right? Plus we are going to add other ingredients that will thicken the stew. So we're still adding. We're still going. I'm going to remove the meat out of the pot and to actually make them into serving size so just testing the beef right here to see if it's tender enough which it is so i'm going to remove them cut them into smaller pieces and then add them back to the pot All right, so now we have a nice boil going. All the bubbling, all the steams, like it's just perfect. It's cooking, we're still stirring. We don't want the piece to burn. We need our meat to be cooked. So we're still having them cooking as we go. The piece is not, um, it's already cooked, but you just leave them, they'll, they're what makes the stew, the stew, right? So you're gonna just leave them, let them continue to cook. They will eventually, um, disintegrate to make the stew all right so the color of the water is coming from the meats that we're using and also the peas so at the end it's going to be a, a darker color but for now, this is the color that we have. So in this, um, at this section, you're seeing that the meat, we actually did cut the meat into serving sizes um, and we're still stirring. While we have that um, coming to a boil, I will be making a small portion of dough because we do what Jamaican call spinners, 
which is just dumplings to add to the pot and also my natural seasoning escalion thyme um a few pimento seeds and also a scotch bonnet pepper now if you live in america you know that they're not easily found especially the ones with spice so that what you're gonna do is you're still gonna use it but it won't be a spicy pot right you're only doing it for flavor so sometimes i even add two depending on the taste that i'm going for and all of that um so right now you're seeing a beautiful boiling pot it is basically coming together nicely so we're going to gradually add our seasonings and our dumplings and whatever else we need to add if you find that your pot is a little bit on the fresh side meaning it has no flavor you're going to add a little bit of salt it shouldn't though because of the fact that you're using salted beef but if you're one of those persons who don't eat pork or you don't eat red meat and you're using chicken you want to season your pot with some powdered seasoning so i would suggest using like an all-purpose seasoning or a seasoned salt or something like that that will give you a nice flavor and bring out the meat the, the chicken or the fresh beef whatever it is that you're using other than what i'm using today all right so right now you're seeing everything that is added to the pot um you see the pepper you see the thyme you see the scallion um i also added some fresh garlic as well but you cannot actually see the garlic because of how finely i diced them i also added potatoes so potatoes actually remove saltiness from the pot so when i tasted it at the end it was a little bit too salty for me so what i did was i added one small potato so that the saltiness would be reduced drastically potato tends to do that so for everything that you're cooking if you ever should over salt your pot just add a potato you're good to go all right so the stew is getting thicker between the potatoes the dumplings the seasoning everything is coming together nicely so the meat's cooked everything is nice so we just leave it like now that everything is added we're going to make sure that the dumplings are cooked and this will take about 15 to 20 minutes right and while you're making sure that while the dumplings are being cooked the stew is coming together and it's thickening so now you can eat it with your white rice which is what stew peas is most times eaten with um and we're good to go so right now the pot is perfect we're ready to eat unfortunately i didn't plate this one but i'll definitely do that and post a picture the next time i make this meal thank you guys for watching make sure that you like subscribe and comment on the video guys thank you